Hi, this is Diana and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to make scalloped potatoes. Okay, let's go over our ingredients for our scalloped potatoes. I sort of call this an old-fashioned scalloped potatoes because my mom used to make them this way for me. And um, we have our scalloped potatoes. We have our potatoes sliced about like this. I don't know if you can see, kind of thin. And uh, I happen to use the uh, slicer that it comes with my KitchenAid. But you can also use something like this to slice them and or you can slice them by hand but you want to try to get them as thin as you possibly can without going too thin too so uh, then we have about one onion and we've cut it kind of in ringlets like that and we have we have one stick of butter and of course this one i'm using half and half with because we we're not putting any cheeses or anything like that in it so we want it kind of creamy so half and half really helps make it creamy and I can't tell you exactly how much half and half to use because when you put your potatoes in here you want to cover them almost three quarters of the way uh, covering the potatoes with your with your uh, milk so it depends on what size of dish you have whether how much milk or half and half that you're going to put in it so now let's get ready to layer our scallop potatoes we're gonna start layering our potatoes. Now, also, we're gonna add salt and pepper, but I, I just want you to remember, add salt and pepper to your taste. I don't happen to like a lot of salt and pepper. We don't use a lot of salt and pepper in our family, but you layer it how you like it. So let's start with this. Uh, we're gonna start with the potatoes. We're just gonna layer these down here. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just adding some potatoes to the bottom. You just want to cover your bottom. Okay. And, but you don't want to make it too thick already either. So there's our bottom. Now we're going to add a little salt and a little pepper. And then we're going to add some of these onions. Just kind of just layer them in there. A little bit more here. Okay, and then we're going to add some butter. I'm just going to put it around here like this. going to add our next layer of potatoes and again it doesn't have to be perfect okay now we're ready for our last layer of potatoes All right on the last layer we're not going to put onions on the top okay so let's put our last layer up here kind of push them down a little bit about enough potatoes on top. All right, we're going to add a little salt, a little pepper, and a little butter so that our potatoes don't get dry on top. I'm just going to kind of break this one up a little bit, kind of just break it up. Just kind of break the butter up so that it gets all over. Because you don't want too much butter. Okay? Alright, now we're going to pour our half and half in. This makes it all so creamy. 
you can use milk if you want and you know but the half and half gives a real creamy flavor to it just until it's about three quarters of the way full okay. now I'm gonna put a lid on this because we're gonna put this into the oven to bake at 350 degrees and um, I'm going to put a lid on it for the, about the first half hour and then we'll check it. But if you don't have a pan that has a lid on it, you can always use foil. Or okay, before um, I put this in the oven, I just want to remind you it's a good idea maybe to put some foil underneath this because it will possibly boil over and uh, you don't want to get your oven all uh, dirty. It'll help prevent from uh, having to scrub it too much later on. So put some foil underneath it to catch the drippings, okay? Okay guys, with scalloped potatoes, it's kind of hard to give you an exact time on how long it's going to take. Uh, it depends on how many layers of potatoes that you've put in the pan, how thick the pan is. So what you do is you have your lid on at the beginning. Once you see that the potatoes are fork tender, you take the lid off and that way the milk can start evaporating and thickening with the starches of the potatoes. And once that liquid is three quarters of the way cooked down, then, and the top of your potatoes are a little brown and crunchy, you know it's done. Take them out, let them sit for another five or 10 minutes outside of the oven and you'll have perfect potatoes. Okay, let's take our lid off of the potatoes and see how well done they are. Okay, oh, look at that. Nice and tender. Okay, let's test it. Yes, four tender. Mm-hmm, not quite, not quite done but done enough so that we now, we're gonna take the lid off and let all the um, juices get absorbed and um, into the potatoes. So let's get them back in the oven. Okay guys, as you can see, our potatoes are brown on the top, our liquid has been absorbed, and um, we're gonna dish some up. Okay guys, we've plated some up, so let's try some. Mm. So tender, so creamy, and that onion gives it such a nice flavor. It's delicious. Well, I hope you enjoyed your time in my kitchen. And I hope you will try this scalloped potato recipe. It was one of my mom's favorites. Now remember to give me a thumbs up, comment me, and subscribe. And the recipe will be in the sub bar below. Oh, and also, if you're a Facebook, on Facebook, you can go to Cooking with Diana, all one word, Cooking with Diana, and like us and it will follow us or follow you or something <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna leave that one up i'm sorry hi guys as always i put three videos up top give it a click and it'll take you to that video and then there's that subscribe button the make my mommy smile button please give it a click and we'll see you soon take care bye bye